right, welcome back to the next video in the mini golf tutorial series in Construct 3. I think this will probably be the last video. In this video, we are going to create another course, another hole for us to play once we finish the first one. And then we will set up the logic that sends us there and back. So I'm going to come over here to our layout folder. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to say add layout and this says uh, add event sheet or add layout only. I'm actually going to need an event sheet for it but I don't want to add that just yet. We can do it later and uh, I'll, I'll step you through all that. So let's just do layout only for right now and then we can do the same thing that we did when we started. Go to our project properties, highlight the viewport size, control C to copy, Click on our layout, highlight our size, paste, enter, and now we have the same size. All right, so for this one, we need a couple of things to be in the layout for this to work. And those couple of things are these text objects of uh, shots and results. So let's drag text shots, and we can put it out of the way up here somewhere and drag in text results and just out of the way and then I'm going to do what I did on the other one uh, on the other layout I'm going to get my, my little palette ready so I'm going to drag in the bumpers and I'm going to drag in grass and I'm going to drag in sand because I want to use sand on this one I'll need the hole and I'll need a ball spawner and I will need, I believe I need the aim as well. I'm not quite sure. All right. So I'm going to just start making uh, my new course. So, oops. So I'm going to highlight that, control click, and drag out a copy. And I'm going to start somewhere down here. Remember, we create the controls over here, so I'm going to try to stay out of the way of that. All right, and I'm just going to drag these out like that. I'm going to move this down here. Control click, drag copy. Actually, I'm going to move that over. Seems a bit weird. All right, line it up there, something like that. Control click, drag out the copy of that one. Get me another copy over here, something like that. All right, looking good. I'm just gonna drag out a few more and put this course together. I kind of know what design I want. If you are planning on making multiple levels on this, uh, get you out pencil and paper and just draw you some course ideas that will help you in the long run. And uh, make things go quicker if you know what you're designing before you start designing it in the game engine. So I'm just uh, copying and pasting and, and dragging out new copies and just getting things kind of where I think I'm going to want them to be. So something like that. Uh, okay, so what I did when we first started making our layout uh, a few videos ago, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to speed this part of the video up and I'm just going to clean things up. I'm going to make sure that everything is lined up as evenly as possible and that it doesn't look like a total mess. So I will return in just a second. Yours can look however you want it. I'm just going to add a couple more things here. I'm going to draw out another copy here. I'm going to put this somewhere in the middle-ish. And I'm going to change the angle to 45. Uh, this is just what I'm doing. I'm creating an obstacle. Uh, holding shift while I drag this out 
makes it drag out even in all directions. So uh, something like that, maybe uh, maybe a little smaller actually, because I'm going to put some sand under it. All right, something like that. And then I'm going to drag out some sand, drag out a copy of the sand, and then I'm going to angle him at 45 as well. Put him up here somewhere, drag it out, and then I'm going to send this Z order to the bottom. Zoom in a little. Something like that. There. Almost looks even. Uh, actually, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm just gonna make this a little bigger. Actually, I want it to be a big enough obstacle that the ball has to go through sand. There we go. Okay, something like that. That looks good. Uh, I'm gonna make a couple more little obstacles. So another little copy. Uh, I'm just going to put these kind of in the way, and I'm actually going to draw this, or drag this down. Drag him out, make him a little smaller, and then just drag another copy of him out. And then stagger him, kind of like that. I like that. That looks good. Alright, uh, let's get some grass in there. I'm going to draw a copy of that. This will be pretty easy. I've made it nice and square. So same thing we did last time. It's kind of overlapping the orange, but not outside. And then I will send him to the bottom and then draw another copy and do it this way. Oh, look, that's very uneven. Oh, well, I'm fine with that. And Z order bottom of layer. Okay. There's my new course. I'm going to move the hole somewhere right about there. I think that's good. And then my spawner, ball spawner, will start somewhere right around there. Moving over just a minute. Okay. There we go. There's my second course. So now I'm going to go ahead and save. And then what we're going to do is we are going to, over here in our event sheet, in our hole group, we set next hole to 1. And in our initialize on start a layout, the very first thing we do is set hole to 0. So each time we start a new layout, it's going to read this code first, which is good. So we need to know what to do once we set next hole to one because nowhere else in this code did we compare next hole variable to one we only set it to zero in this group and one in this group so I'm gonna come over here to uh, the project panel on event sheets I'm going to right click I'm gonna add an event sheet and I am going to rename this hole underscore one and then I'm going to add another one and I'm going to name this whole underscore two and then up here in your tabs if we uh, choose whole one event sheet I am going to right click and say include event sheet and I'm going to say event sheet one which is uh, this one with all our code on it so when this event sheet is being read, it will also read our main event sheet that we made. And in layout one, I'm going to click anywhere in the layout and I'm going to change event sheet in the properties tab to whole one. So now this layout, layout one that we created will read off of this event sheet but it will know what to do because we included the main event sheet. So I'm going to add an event and I'm going to say system compare variable of next hole to one. So when next hole equals one, I'm going to add an action system go to layout and that's going to be layout two. 
So when I'm on hole one, which is this layout, whenever this variable gets triggered and set to one, this is going to read it because it's a global variable. We can read it throughout all the event sheets. It's going to set uh, or it's going to go to layout two, which is this one. So if we click on layout two over here in our properties event sheet, it says none. We're going to say hole two because it's layout two. And then in hole two, we're going to do the same thing we did in hole one. So let's right click, include event sheet, event sheet one, because we want it to be able to play the same way the other layout plays. And then we're going to add an event system compare variable of next hole to one. And then this is where you would add an action system, go to layout, and then you would pick layout three and then you would four, five, six, and so on for each layout that you make. But we only have the two holes here, so I'm just gonna send it right back to layout one. Uh, that can always be changed when we create more uh, courses. So that is the only logic we need for each layout. And because we included our event sheet, we have all the logic to run the game. So I'm gonna save and I'm going to run the game. And we are on layout two. That's because that was the last layout we were on. So you can either click the layout that you want to start on, or you can go up here and say preview project. And project will start from the very beginning, which over here, layout one is the very first one in our folder. That's the first one it's going to go to. So preview project. And we have our I'm just going to maximize this, get the full experience. All right, I'm going to swing it. That's one shot. And then let's see if I can make it again and be a little soft. Got it. Took me two shots and takes us to the second layout. And we don't have anything ready so we missed something let's see what that is um, ah I know what we did okay so in initialize the things that I am telling our game to do is creating these objects on layers that have specific names HUD and game. In layout two, if we click on layout two, we go over to our layers, we have one layer, we never changed those, we never made another layer. So let's click on layer zero. That's everything that we created is on layer zero. So let's rename this to game and then create another one on top and call it HUD exactly the same way we did the other one, so it will read the same names from the main event sheet. And let's play that. And we started from the second one again. I will start from the first one, and we will play through. And we made it in position. All right. And I didn't hit it hard enough, so that's two shots. We are going to take a third shot, and it makes it. Took us three shots. And sends us to the next one. There's all our stuff. We have full control of everything. And oh, look how much it slowed that ball down, just like real sand. Cool. All right. Uh, I'm going to bank this one in. Y'all ready for this? Boom, there we go, took us two shots and it should take us back to the first one. It does, everything works, and it's just a continuous loop. And this is where you would add, design and add more courses and you would just do the same thing. You would make uh, each uh, layout that you create, you would create these two layers, name them the same thing each time, and you would just uh, give each one, uh, each layer its own event sheet make sure that you are assigning that event sheet 
uh, right here. When you pick the layout, you can pick what uh, event sheet it holds and then just set it up to where it goes to the next layout. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. We have completed it. That was kind of a long one. There was a lot of stuff going on. Uh, I'm just going to expand all these so we can kind of look through everything. And I just like to take a quick, you know, glance through, make sure nothing looks out of place. Man, that's a lot of stuff. We did a lot, but we did it. All right. I hope you learned something from this. I certainly did by making it. And I really enjoy making these types of videos. I've heard from some of you that you like them. So I'm going to continue to make them. I have a few more projects lined up and I will get those created and recorded and get them out to you. If you like this type of content, let me know that you like the video. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so that you'll know whenever the next tutorial series is out. And until then, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Don't forget to save.